Okay, so for the materials for this um, project, we need a plastic canvas, bag handle, our bag strap, and our yarn. So this one got a uh, five different type of yarn. It's already like this when I bought it. You can use a velvet yarn also if you want, or you can use a different type of yarn. Then a tapestry noodle, a scissor, and a measuring tape. So for the size of our bag, I cut my plastic canvas by 29.5 cm length. then 25.5 cm height and for the width for this uh, uh, bag is 9 cm You can always adjust the size of your bag depending on how big your square you want it. For mine is uh, 8 by 8 mini squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's one box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So for this one, I have a total of seven squares. And here in this part, I got six squares. Okay, so let me show you how I did this. Okay, so cut a long uh, yarn. Okay, so we got a long enough yarn. Then starting from here, you'll just have to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this whole square is equal to eight by eight mini squares. Insert your needle. We're going to start on the right side. We're going to sew it diagonally.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so the back will be look like this. Okay, so we're going to in in the last part, and the first big square is made. So this one is counted: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, on the next. Just follow this uh, video. Now we have to count eight mini squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to in on the other side. We're going to uh, tie. Just hold this so we can cover this up while we're going to sew it.
you continue doing that until you finish your uh, one bag side of the bag So now we're going to sew our bag to touch all together, all the sides. This one I'm using a different color of yarn. I'm using this white. Use a same color if you want or if you want some changes you can use a different color or type also. Okay, so you can tie or you can hide your end yarn and continue doing all the side. It will be look like this. Now we're going to do our hidden bag handle. You can skip this if you want to add on this handle or not. It's totally up to you. I'm using a double pull yarn. Make a slip knot. I'm using a 4 millimeter crochet hook. A row one, you have to make uh, one single crochet bag handle. So this one doesn't really have a proper how many stitches you're going to make. I just make uh, 12 stitches for this, uh, enough to cover this uh, part of my bag handle.
row 2 to row 4, we're going to make one single crochet on each stitches. So for this one, I have a total of 12 stitches. Then I will end my row 4 with uh, 12 single crochet as well. Now we're going to attach our bag handle into our bag. So it like this. So whenever I want to use, I can use. I call it like a hidden handle. Make sure it's aligned. To secure, we have to tie this. Make sure that we sew it on this line. After that, we're going to sew this in here. We're going to sew it in the middle of the squares, which is the four squares that we have.
next one thank you bye